As we can see, I'm starting this haircut off with a zero guard. The reason I'm starting it with the zero guard instead of a one guard is because Ron does not like to I'll let you know that I'm not too confident with my tapering right here and so I'm just kind of getting a feel for it I have to cut more consistently and just cut overall get my skills up so I can just begin with the confidence but you know what I'm saying nevertheless <clears throat> I'm gonna do what it do as you can see I'm starting to get warmed up with my tapering and my flick motion is coming in boom boom I hit it with the CMB brush if you don't know that CMB brush is excellent It's an excellent brush to um, brush the hairs down when you're doing tapers. Now if you see I'm kind of getting warmed up with them tapering skills I get the flick motion it going real good And then I get the brush to brush the hair down So I could see the blending Or see the areas that need to be blended And now I'm about to go with this lineup um, As you can take a look when I'm doing this lineup I'm going to let y'all know I started off cautious because you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm I'm still learning, y'all. I know how to do it, but I'm just cautious. That's just one thing about it. You might not be able to tell that well because the video is in fast motion. But if you got a trained eye and you really know, like if you're a real barber and you really experienced with cutting hair, you'll see how I'm kind of wavering around this area a little bit too long. Even I personally recognize this because sometimes when I do my own hair, I can just do it in one month smooth motion but it was kind of shaky with him because i haven't cut his hair in a long time and you know what i'm saying it's not me so i gotta cut more heads consistently to get to get that smooth motion going but nevertheless i'm still able to do it make the curve come out 
decent or great. You know what I'm saying? It looked good to me. And now I'm about to uh, hit the back part of this hairline and around the ear area. As you can see, I got my technique where I lift the head or the skin up around the ear. And then I'm able to get that lining very well. And then it goes straight towards the back. I'm looking at this video and I can see the major progress that I have like just came through man like man it used to take me hours to do haircuts but now my timing is speeding up like it's not taking me as long and I know what I'm doing like I know what to do and I got a technique down now all I have to do is just keep at it and then I'm going to get better and better and I'm going to be able to knock them out even faster with better quality. moving on to the other side towards the back now i feel like i'm kind of warmed up right here you see me using less taps to get the job done i'm confidently moving that line Now it may look like I'm doing multiple taps right here, but all I'm doing is I'm getting those loose hairs that will stick over the line. Now you can hardly tell, but um, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna let you know what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna move on towards this other side and taper it. I took the guard off, clean up the area around the uh, sideburns, clean up that loose hair and then I got the guard all the way closed I mean not the guard I keep saying guard I got the lever closed and I opened it halfway and went up and then I opened it all the way right here and I'm just kind of blending and chipping away at it you know what I'm saying now I put the guard on and I close it all the way and then I chip away at that just to kind of tape that up a little bit you see me oh look at this tape action y'all i done came a long way you see that flick action i know exactly what i'm doing where the haters at now say something now boy nah. <laughs> all right you see this oh wait wait look check this out y'all look at that tape action come on man look look at this hey would you come look at this all right come look at this <laughs> now i'm about to uh, kind of touch up the the sideburn right here one thing I noticed is that this side had a different angle than the other side. So I'm really kind of being cautious with this when I try and get this C motion right here for his uh, sideburn. Now I'm going at it. I don't want to push that too far back. So I just got to tap away at it for a second. I went on ahead and I got my other clippers because those black ones are tapping goals. And I don't want to like really go in on this part of his hairline and have that angle drastically different from the other now i know what y'all thinking like if those were some tapping goals then why was you tapping so many times on the other parts of his head well i'm just be honest with you look i'm not as confident with my skills as a real professional barber i'm a beginner so even though i got them tapping goals i'm not tapping the line 
super aggressively because I'm not trying to ever mess up. You know what I'm saying? As time goes on, I'll be more confident and I'll be able to tap lines and create lines really well without fearing that I'm going to mess up or fearing that I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, push over a line because I don't want to never push someone's hairline back. I've never done that and I don't ever plan on doing it. So that's why even when my tapping goes, you'll see me tapping multiple times around certain areas instead of just really carving that out. I know, I know, I know. I had a comment from my last video about the mean comments. Oh, if you scared to mess up, you ain't never going to get good. Well, look, I see the progress I made so far in this haircut. By the end of this haircut, you're going to see some progress. If you go take a look at my other haircuts and you see this is the best haircut I ever came. I ever did. Now I'm about to taper up this um, backside. This will say all. Usually when I start my tapers, I don't ball it out, but this back part, I decided to low-key do a, a small portion of it bald, all right? So you see me go up with that all the way closed, and then now it's about halfway open right now, and I'm going up a little bit more, and I'm going to open it. I'm going to just taper, taper away at it. Now, this is where you're really going to see my skills and my improvement shine through and my confidence in my tapering. You see me, I'm doing a flick motion, boom, 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 boom. And then I hit it with the 3WP CMB brush, which is actually a very good taper brush down brush. Hey, if you're a barber, I suggest you get one of them. It's very nice with it, like trust me. And you see me, boom, 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 boom. Look at this, look at this taper action. Come look at this. Hey, would you come look at this? <laughs> look at this, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Look, I, you see me pointing? Cause I'm trying to check with the camera and the mirror and stuff to make sure I see which side is which and make sure I make sure I get that even. You know what I'm saying? Boom, you see that tape action? Now I put the guard on and I'm going to just taper away at it, man. Make sure I blend that together. Come on, yeah, look at this action. Man, say something now, bro. Say something now, talk some mess now, bro. <laughs> All right, so look, he had like a little crease in his head right there. You see the dark spot right there? So I'm trying to like lift his head up right there or the skin around that area so I'm able to blend that better. It was kind of difficult, but you know what I'm, what I'm saying? I kind of managed to do it. At first, I was struggling. And you could see, you could tell I'm struggling with that part because you see me going back to it. Like, I spent a minute on this part trying to get that blended. But I managed to do it. I don't know if, if I had the best technique just by pulling the head up like that with my thumb. You see it? And then I'm able to get to it and knock that area and blend it. Besides that, man, that's my little taper back there now. I didn't start with the biggest bald, balding effect on that taper. So it's not like a crazy transition. But nevertheless, you can see the tapering transition. And you see me work through that. What you think about that, y'all? What y'all think about that? If you're a barber, let me know what you think about that. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little rating, 1 through 10. You know what I'm saying? On my little back taper. But only rate the back taper, all right? So just be like, back taper, 7 out of 10 or however you think it is you know what i'm saying and then you could say overall haircut eight out of ten or however you want to say it you know what i'm saying and yeah if you want to be a um a constructive criticism person make sure it's constructive don't just be like bad you know what i'm saying at least tell me why you think it's bad and yeah man i'm coming to an end with this haircut just the lineup now i don't want to use them other ones i wanted to use these tap and goes for the lineup and i see it it came out real clean to me. I just made sure I followed my lineup technique that I explained in my video about how to give yourself a lineup. And I learned that over time when I learned on myself. Yeah. You gonna see how it come out.
Now, for the side of his lineup right there, I didn't touch it too close with the Clippers because I was cautious with it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't want to touch it too close because it looked kind of different to me. And so I wasn't confident in my ability to make both sides look even. And so I didn't touch them up like that on the corners going down. I did the front horizontal lineup, but the vertical lineup part right there on the sides, I didn't do it. I didn't do it too tough, you know. I hit the corners a little bit, but I just didn't go down with it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm going to just trim that front hairline down just a little bit just to make sure I get any hairs that will cross over that hairline. And yeah, that's pretty much the ending of this cut. Let me know what y'all think. This is my best cut yet. I'm getting better and better. Better and better and better. Alright Ocean Squad, this is the final cut, tell me what you think, I did my little taper back there, it was hard because his head got a kind of crease right there, I got to work on that, but I did my best to blend it right there, if you a real barber, you know what I'm saying, you got some tips for me for that spot, go ahead give me some tips, alright, I did lift his head up too with my thumb to uh, move that crease, and then also the side, that came out clean, let me show y'all, I did a slight little taper, it wasn't a ball taper, but you know what I'm saying, it was a taper, nevertheless. We're on dipping like crazy. All right, that's the front hairline. Hey, I don't got nothing to say about that, but hey, it's clean. Mm -hmm. And I only touched it up just a little bit with them clippers, so that's the crazy part. And here go the other side. Slight little taper. Show y'all the back right there. The top waves is dipping like crazy. Ron just gotta work on them sides. He got a wolf, but he don't like woofing. <laughs> and yeah.